Hey everyone, this is Rishi from Pitch Innovations and I'm excited to announce a major update for our latest plugin Groove Shaper. From much requested features to an improved user experience, we have a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. The version 1.1 update features an improved user interface to help you be more creative. The new toolbar, positioned beneath the shape sequencer, provides you convenient access to most used tools and features. Let's explore these new features one by one. Firstly, we have a new sequencer bypass button which allows you to bypass the sequencer and audition your hosted synth or sampler directly. Next up, to improve your user experience, we are excited to introduce you to our new edit mode. In this mode, you can now visualize and edit your entire pattern and tweak settings for individual nodes such as velocity and mute, gate and tie, node delays, and finally, transpose. Additionally, you can use the random button to randomize these settings as well. Next up, a much requested feature, extra bars. You can now sequence up to eight bars by switching between these tabs, allowing you to create longer patterns and more creative variations. Wish to copy a pattern from the first tab? Simple. Just head to the second page and drag and drop the toggle button like this. Next up, we are excited to introduce three powerful sequencer modes, Hold, Note Limit and Split. We designed these modes to open up a range of new possibilities for your rhythm production, allowing you to explore and embrace happy accidents effortlessly. In Hold mode, Groove Shaper triggers and repeats each individual shape until all MIDI notes are off. Once the notes are off, it will move on to the next shape and you can continue performing. Let me show you a quick demo. Now, let's look into the note limit. In this mode, only the initial notes played will pass through the sequencer. Any subsequent notes played afterward can be freely performed without passing through the sequencer. This mode particularly works well if you'd like to create drum patterns like this. In split mode, you can sequence two different patterns for two different ranges of your MIDI keyboard. In this example, I've set C3 as my split point. So I can use the top row to sequence a pattern for the right side of the split point and the bottom row to sequence a pattern for the left side of the split point. Next up, the tempo multiplier includes a new division. You can now run the sequencer at one fourth of the original speed, enabling you to craft intricate and complex rhythms with greater precision. So the ARP function, which has been a crowd favorite, now features more powerful updates. You can choose from a range of options such as going up, down, and more. But here's where it gets really interesting. You can take this even further by modifying the ARP direction for each shape individually. You can use the random button to randomize the ARP direction for individual shapes across the pattern. This means you can now create some seriously cool and unique patterns like this. To improve your user experience, we are excited to share the revamped sequencer and shape settings tabs. Let's explore them one by one. The first tab allows you to control the velocity and mute settings. The second one for gate and tie. And the third tab comes with added controls for individual note delay and transpose. The note delay feature enables you to freely move individual notes in the selected shapes. This node delay is also linked to the global swing parameter in the sequencer settings, 
ensuring a cohesive rhythm in your pattern. The new transpose function below the note delay gives you the ability to transpose individual notes in octaves, offering you more creative possibilities for your patterns. To help you sequence patterns quickly, we have added the ability to paint shapes directly into the sequencer. Here's how it works. Just select your desired shape and simply click and drag across the empty slots in the sequencer to fill them. To remove a shape, simply right click and drag across the area you want to erase. With this update, adding and removing shapes has never been easier. In addition to that, you can now receive visual feedback while you adjust the sequencer setting sliders like velocity, note length or swing. This enhancement allows for more intuitive editing and control. Furthermore, we've added grouping for odd time signatures. You can choose your divisions from the drop down here and visualize the timing, helping you craft odd time signature rhythms with ease. Additionally, with MIDI Assign, you can simply right click and assign MIDI control change to any global parameters using a MIDI controller. This feature gives you hands on control over your grooves. Finally, with all these features, the possibilities are endless. And as the possibilities expand, so do the presets. That's why we've completely redesigned the preset browser with new preset categories and expertly crafted presets that you'll love. Thanks for tuning in with me to explore our latest version 1.1 update. We've listened to your feedback and implemented your most requested features. Groove Shaper version 1.1 is a must-have update packed with both fun and functional improvements aimed to help you create incredible rhythms effortlessly. Download your free update at pitchinnovations.com today.